Do you love vanilla fragrances? If you do, this is the video for you. My battle of the vanillas. Before we get into the fragrances, let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're into, then please go ahead and subscribe now. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing something a bit different. This video is going to be my battle of the vanillas. So basically what I did was pick five fragrances that really showcase the note of vanilla and I rank them based on four different categories and at the end I will tell you which one based on points scored and then I will also rank them in order of my favorites. So let's get into the fragrances. So one quick little thing I want to say is that all of these fragrances I really love. So all of them are winners in my opinion but for the purpose of this video we are putting them head to head so what i'll do is go through each fragrance tell you a little bit about the smell and then we'll go through each category so first up is kayali vanilla 28. now this fragrance is a drier vanilla um, this is sweet but not overly sweet it definitely smells like some sort of like vanilla extract but it's mixed with brown sugar so if you like your gourmands, I mean, you probably will like all of these, <laughs> but this one does definitely smell edible. Very, very nice fragrance from Kayali. The next fragrance I have is from the brand Serge Luton's, and this is Un Bois Vigny. Now this fragrance is a vanilla that has a woodiness to it. So it's a very green vanilla is what I think of. So this fragrance is sweet, but it also has a bit of a floral green background to it. So I wouldn't necessarily call it edible, but to me it is still like extremely comforting um, and pretty unique in my opinion. I don't think I've ever smelled an another fragrance that smells like this fragrance. And although it's unique and it's from Serge Luton's, which is kind of known for being a unique brand, it's not so far out there that, you know, only certain people will like it. I feel like this is a very likable scent but it is unique so it's not it's not what you think of when you think about like your typical vanilla fragrance but it still features the note of vanilla very 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 well so the next fragrance is one that has become quite popular here on youtube over the past few months it seems i mean it might have been popular longer but i feel like i've only been hearing about it the past few months and this is nishane ani now this fragrance is a vanilla but it opens up kind of citrusy. Once that dries down, it's like all those things kind of merge together. So you get that citrus, the vanilla, the sweetness, a little bit of spiciness. Um, so this vanilla is very unique. It definitely does not smell edible. I mean, it does have those gourmand touches because like I said, vanilla is still the star in this show. But this one just has many different facets to it. So this is Nishane Ani. So the next fragrance I have is from Anique Goutal, and this is Nuet et Confidences. So I initially picked this fragrance up because I heard it was a dupe to Guerlain Spirituise Double Vanille. I've never smelled that, but just judging this fragrance on its own, it is beautiful. This is more of a dry vanilla, but it has like a deep, dark, like smoky touch to it. It smells very sophisticated, very like nighttime appropriate. I definitely think you can wear it during the daytime too, but this is like my sexy vanilla, like go out date night, formal attire type vanilla. It's really, really nice. And it definitely, it doesn't have tobacco in it, but there's definitely some sort of deep smoky note to it that kind of just brings it all together. So this is Nuit It's Confidences. And then the last vanilla that I have here today is from the brand The Seven Virtues, and this is Vanilla Woods. Now, I ended up picking up this fragrance because of you all. Somebody recommended it to me last year saying that it was a nice, like, you know, just everyday type vanilla. And I have to say, you guys are right. Um, this fragrance, again, is kind of a drier vanilla. It definitely has some depth to it, some woody woodiness to it. To me, it's actually kind of similar to Nuet et Confidences. I mean, they're not the same, but I do feel like this is kind of similar to that one. And I know the, the Anique Goutal, the one I just mentioned, is hard to get your hands on. It's not sold everywhere. 
So this one is readily available at your local Sephora. So that's definitely a plus for Vanilla Wood. So now that I've given you a brief overview of all five fragrances, I'm going to go through each category. I did already rank them one through five. But for you guys, I'm just gonna tell you my top two so that we don't prolong this video. And then at the end, I will give you like a final breakdown of which one scored the most points and rank them in order of all these categories. And I'll also give you my favorites ranked in order from least to most favorite. So for the first category I have here is uniqueness of smell. So for this category, I'm gonna give you my top two, like I said. So number two was Lume Bois Vanille. Like I said, I've never smelled a vanilla like this. Um, the vanilla with the woodiness and the like green floralness to it, to, it's just very unique to my nose. So number two was Lume Bois Vanille. And number one is definitely Nishane Ani. <laughs> this fragrance, I don't know if you guys saw my haul video with this, but when I smelled it, you could just see my smile developing as it dried on my skin. This fragrance is unique and it's very, just very good. <laughs> this is one you definitely need to smell. And I think they just did a very good job having this fragrance be all about vanilla, but still maintaining, maintaining its uniqueness. The next category I have is longevity. So in the number two place for longevity, I have Anique Goutal Nuet at Confidences. On my skin, this lasts at least a good hours. I actually tested it again the other night, like overnight, and I wore it to bed. I didn't put it on right before bed. I probably put it on like an hour or so before bed, and I could still smell it when I woke up in the morning. So I think there's something to be said about that. So at least eight hours on this fragrance. So I know I said eight hours was pretty good, but in the number one spot, this fragrance literally lasts like 10, 12 hours. And that is, again, Nishane Ani. <laughs> so Nishane Ani, if you, if you love long lasting scents and that's really important to you, this is the one that like knocks all the other ones out of the park. Not saying that the rest of them have bad longevity, um, especially like Um Bois Vigny actually has really good longevity as well. It's number three. I know I said I wasn't going to go through all of these, but I did want to mention that because Um Bois Vigny does last a good like eight to ten hours on me as well. So I felt like I should share that too because a lot of times these sweet like vanilla fragrances really don't last that long. So the next category I have is packaging. So in the number two spot for me is Vanilla 28 from Kayali. I really love the look of these bottles. Mine is a 50 ml size, but the 100 ml size looks really nice as well. Now my, my fragrance is very dark now because it's an older bottle and over time, you know, vanilla darkens. So my fragrance is very dark. If you see a new one of these, it's a lot lighter, but I actually love the darkness of the juice on this. And the clear, like crystal clear bottle, I just feel like these look really nice. And I know a lot of people, I mean, I feel like it goes either way. Some people don't like these bottles, some people really do. I happen to be a person that really does like the bottle from Kayali. So this was number two for me. And then number one, I feel like, like who would be surprised by this? Look at this, look at this pom-pom y'all. <laughs> This is New at Confidences and this pom-pom is just so cute. This is, this is one of my favorite bottles in my collection, hands down. So that was like a no-brainer to me um, as far as looks of the packaging. It also has this little tassel on it um, that moves around and makes noise. This is the smaller bottle. It does come in a larger bottle which also has the pom-pom but I happen to really like the way it looks on the smaller bottle. And then the last category that I have here is price. So number two goes to Kayali Vanilla 28. This one retails for $85 for a 50 ml bottle. And then my number one goes to Vanilla Woods from Seven Virtues. This one retails for $79 for a 1.7 ounce bottle. So both really well priced in my opinion. So now I'm gonna give you the ranking based on scores alone. This does not include my overall opinion of them. This is based on the scores that I calculated. So in fifth place, I actually don't have any fragrance because I have two fragrances tied at number four. They had the exact same score. And those two fragrances were Um Bois Vanille and Vanilla 28. Did y'all guess that? <laughs> 
In third place, I have Vanilla Woods. In second place, I have Nishane Ani. And in first place, I have Nuets at Confidences. Now, all of these fragrances are really beautiful. Like I said earlier, they would not be in my collection if I didn't love all of them. But I felt like it wouldn't be right for me to leave this video without telling you like overall what my like ranking of these fragrances would be. So for my ranking, I typically will value uniqueness of smell over anything as far as the categories that I gave you all. But all of the all of the factors that I talked about kind of go into play but some categories weigh a little bit more heavily than others. So me just basing it off my feelings about the fragrances, my number five choice would be Vanilla 28. A really beautiful scent, I'm really happy that I have it, but for me the downfall of this fragrance is that it doesn't last super long and it's just, you know, it is really beautiful but it also doesn't really project. So it's a very like personal scent but still really, really beautiful and even though it's number five, I love this fragrance, I'll be keeping it and I think it has a time and a place. So in the number four spot, I have Vanilla Woods and I think this is number four for me because it's just a little tiny bit boring. I mean, it's not boring, I shouldn't call it boring but it is a really nice vanilla, but that's kind of it. There is a little bit of woodiness to it, but I still think overall it's not super unique in the smell, but I do really like the fragrance. I think it lasts well. I think it is very well priced, and I like that it's so easy to access. So number four was Vanilla Woods. So number three, some of you guys may be surprised, but it is Nuet et Confidences. So I know this one, number one, based on like the categories that we talked about, but out of these five for me, it's number three. I do really love the smell. I do really love the bottle. And honestly, I mean, I love all these fragrances I'm talking about. So none of these are losers. <laughs> but I just feel like the two that are ahead of it, I just love a little bit more. <laughs> but I'm really happy to have this in my collection. I do wish it was more readily available because I feel like every time I share this and then I try to look it up, it's sold out. And it's just really not many places that you can get this fragrance. But if you can get your hands on it, it is a beauty. So number two for me is Um Boivigny. I just, there's just something about this that I just absolutely love. I just think it feels very comforting and just very cozy while still being very different. It's like an uplifted vanilla uh, with that green touch to it. And I just feel like it's very unique. It lasts super well and I can smell it on myself literally all day as I wear it, which I happen to love because I like to smell my own fragrances. I'm not really caring if other people compliment me on it, but when I can smell my fragrances, especially something like this that makes me feel all comfy and cozy, then that just makes my day go better. So that is Um Boivigny. And then number one, are you guys surprised? It is Nishane Ani. So this fragrance, I've only had it a few months, but it has quickly become a favorite in my collection. I just think the scent is unique, it's beautiful, and it just speaks to me. Like the scent is just, it's just that good. It's just really, really good. I love the scent. I also love the longevity of this. And again, like I said about the last fragrance, this is one I can smell on myself all day. So this is one of those fragrances that I'll be sitting and like watching TV and then I have to comment like, man, I smell good. Like, <laughs> so uh, for that reason, this is number one in my collection. But let me reiterate, all of these are winners in my book. I recommend every single one of them for different reasons and I'm happy to have all of them in my collection. So that's it for my battle of the vanillas. Let me know what you think about the format of this video. I do plan on doing a chocolate video that will be going live tomorrow for you guys. So please let me know how you feel about this video and if you want me to keep that chocolate video in the same format. That's what I plan on doing but I haven't filmed it yet so you still have time to convince me if I should do it a different way. <laughs> Anyway, let us know in the comments down below what is your favorite vanilla. Do you even like vanilla scents? And what's most important to you as far as a category? Is it the price? Is it the packaging? Is it the uniqueness of smell? Or is it the longevity? I want to know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please go ahead and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.